Introducing the horses for this evening's ninth race, third division. Eliminations for the Scarlet here pace, three old fillies, racing one mile, purse $10,000, there are no changes. Number one is Athena Blucha, brown daughter of Goli Jeff, with a two-year-old record, 154 and two, Earnings of $85,000. She comes in from Belmore Park, Chicago, owned by the Penske Stables, Brian Penske and Don Barandi of Minnesota and Illinois. Brian Penske drives the one, Athena Blucha. Number two is Village Latona, brown daughter of Jake Lobel, with a two-year-old mark at one fifty-seven and two at Mohawk. Earnings of $101,000. Owned by Charles Armstrong of the Comp Stable Limited of Ontario. Roger Mayotte driving the two, Village Latona. Number three, understand a brown daughter of Albatross. Two year mark at 155 and one at Rosecroft, earnings $141,000. Owned by Howard Guggenheim and Marion McMillan Jr. of Florida and South Carolina. Dick Stillings drives the three, understand. Number four, Janet's Jewel, a, a bay daughter of Big Chowder, with a three year record at 154 at the Meadowlands, earnings of $50,000. Owned by the RJS stable of New York, New York, Dave Pallone. Steering the four, Janet's Jewel. Five is Sweet November. Bay daughter of Albatross with a three year mark of 158 and two at Pompano Park. $8,000 in earnings. Oh, by Harvey Gold of Connecticut, Jeff Fout drives the five, Sweet November. Number six is Haughty Hanover. Bay daughter of Albatross with a three year record of 150. Seven and three at the Meadows. Earnings of $50,000, owned by Dean Davis and James Snyder, Wooster, Ohio. Rodney Boland drives the six, Haughty Hanover. Seven is Magic Shopper, a bay daughter of Abercrombie. Freshman market, 157 and two at Belmore Park, $54,000 in earnings, owned by Charles and Julie Nash of Lexington, Kentucky. Brent Schultz behind the seven, Magic Shopper. And from the outside, number eight, Silks and Diamonds of a daughter of Falcon Sealster. Three-year-old best of 157 in Fort Mohawk, $65,000 in her bankroll. Owned by Clifford Siegel of Brooklyn, New York, Dave Miller. In the sulky on the eight, Silks and Diamonds. Third division, three-year-old of Philly, Pacers are running behind the gate. The gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. And they're off. Janet's Jewel fires from the center of the track to take the lead. Athena Blue Chip charging the gate, racing second. Far outside, Silks and Diamonds came away a third from the inside of fourth. Village Latiana inside pacing a five. Understand. On the rail racing, a sixth comes. Sweet November. To the inside, a seventh. Haughty Hanover. Early Jewel eighth Magic Shopper. At the first quarter mile marker, Janet's Jewel leads the way. First stop, 27 and 3 fifths. Athena Blue Chip, garden spot trip here this evening is racing second. Long the rail third, Village Latona racing uh, fourth, Silks and Diamonds. Two lengths, five, understand. Two lengths, sixth now, Sweet November. Pacing seven to the outside comes Magic Shopper off the back end. Haughty Hanover now trails eighth. Into the clubhouse, turn the go and on the front. Janet's Jewel leads by a length and a half. Here comes Silks and Diamonds. First team over the outside, pressuring two. Half and 57. And Athena Blue Chip is now locked in tight. She's racing a third. Then it's a gap of two lengths in the passing lane. Comes understand. Longside racing a fourth, Village Latona. Outside five is Magic Shopper. On towards a three-quarter mile marker, and Janet's Jew looking to wire the field. Silks and Diamonds on the outside, pressuring the leader at her wheel is second. Athena Blue Chip is still locked in the third, three quarters, 125. Midway to the final turn, Janet's Jewel continues to lead. Silks and Diamonds is still part second. Athena Blue Chip will now wait for racing room as they turn for home. Less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come, and here she comes, Athena Blue Chip to the outside with a quick rush. It's Athena Blue Chip, Janet's Jewel, duking it out, Athena Blue Chip. Pulling away at the wire. One, 53 and one. I'm introducing the official winner, the third elimination for three of the Philly Pacers of the 1995 Scarlet O'Hare, number one, Athena Blue Chip.
Dot of Gully Jack from Anthem's Blue Chip by On the Road again. Over the Penske Stables, Brian Penske and Don Rondi of Minnesota and Illinois. Brian Penske, the trainer and driver this evening. Now, Fina Blue Chip, after two winning qualifiers, wins easily at Balmoral Park in the prepper for this evening's elimination. She's two of two, and she is for real. 153 and one is a new lifetime mark, and that is a new stakes record for the Scarlet O'Hare pace.